Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. I hope the day has been good for you, for those that are coming to the end of the day and for those that are just waking up. I hope the day will be well for you. I hope you will have the best day of your life. Now, if you're new to this channel, I request you to subscribe and hit the bell so that you may receive future videos from me. Once again, I always encourage you to test the spirit and to allow God to speak to you. Read the word of God, meditate on it day and night. Uh, do not just hear the word and just allow it to just pass by you. Go back in the scriptures and read the word for yourself. Uh, share this video with someone tell somebody that god loves him tell somebody that they are healed speak life to somebody like the video and bless someone with good things do not be a person who just who speaks curses let not a curse come out of your mouth but let life come out of your mouth be good representative of jesus speak words that will heal someone now the one that i have for you today is control yourself control yourself do not do things like there is no tomorrow do not do things like there is nothing that is controlling you do not just drink and drink and drink because the more you drink, the more you give yourself into intox toxic substances, the more it will destroy you. It would even drive you away from your God. So control yourself. Control your eating behaviors. The way you eat, very important, your eating habits. Because there are people who just eat anything. From morning you are eating. Every after midnight, even right now as I'm speaking, there are people who are eating. They, they like eating. They love eating. But the word says, control yourself. It is good to eat, but do not overdo it. Because diseases will come to you. You open doors to diseases. Someone said, you are what you eat. Whether or not I will agree with that statement, it is very important. To control yourself to be careful of what you are eating because there are some people who just buy things in uh, maybe they go to Walmart and buy things or you go to a shopping mall and buy something without reading the contents of that product without reading the contents of that food Because the, the companies will tell you what is in that food. Sometimes the companies may not tell you. It may be a marketing strategy that they don't tell you what is in the food. But you need to do your research. Because if you eat and eat things that are full of toxic substances, that are full of contaminated things, because the, what you may think is good food may not be good for you. I repeat, what you think may be good food or good may not be good for you. It may, good, it may be good for your neighbor, but to you it may not be good. You may be allergic to it. Your body may not respond well to that kind of food. There are some people whose bodies do not, will reject certain kind of food, so you need to be careful. You need to control yourself. Do not be angry at people. If there was a place in your past that you were hurt or that you still have scars, pray over it that God heals those scars. Do not go and be angry at anyone you see who reminds you of the same old things. Be a person who brings out love. God is love. You are expected to, to, to show that kind of love to people who are around you. 
control yourself. Do not just go after women. Do not just go after every scat that you see. Because there are diseases. Who knows the, 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 the person that you, you are seeking after may be sick. It may not be your day. So control yourself. In the scriptures, there's a man who was called Samson. Now, Samson was truly blessed by God. Samson was strong. In the land, there was no one who was stronger than Samson. But Samson had a problem. He had a thing for women. He had a thing for that which they had told him not to do. So for those that have read the story, you know that uh, Samson was so attracted to Delilah. There was a lady in his life and the lady was Delilah. And the lady, the more Samson uh, hung out with Delilah, the more Delilah wanted to know the strength of Samson, the source of Samson's strength. So as she kept on pushing to, to, on, onto Samson to tell him the source of his strength, Samson later on revealed the strength of his, the source of his strength. And he said it was in his hair. So the Lila cut off the hair and Samson was there, powerless. They went ahead to pluck out his eyes. They beat him, they flogged him. What led to Samson's downfall was he did not control himself. He was not obedient to the voice of God. Probably God had spoken to him many times about this. But he did not listen. So wherever you are, there is something, whether it's an addiction, it could be smoking, that you're addicted to smoking, that you cannot give, you cannot live without a cigarette. The scripture, but I speak to you. I come here and I speak to you. Control yourself. If there is anything that will lead you to sin, that will lead you to death, it's better to cut off that thing. It is better to cut off the habit, that habitual thing that you have been doing. It's better to be in good standing with God, in the right standing with God. Control yourself. Control what you watch what you hear with your own ears. Because there are some words that you're never supposed to be, you're never supposed to hear. Yes, they could be good words, but you are not, they, were not, they were not words that you were supposed to hear. You know, they were not meant for you. So control yourself, brothers. Wherever you are, ask God to give you. Because for God has given it is a spirit of control that God has given you. You are supposed to control yourself if you have the spirit of God. Do not give in to things of this world. Do not give in to money. Do not love money. Be blessed.